Today we are going to create a pinch pot frog. I've given you a big lump of clay. I want you to take it and pull it and twist it in half so you have two pieces. Put your one half to the side. The next half you're going to form a sphere. You can use the inside of your palm. When it's pretty round, plop it down on your work surface and we're just going to pound it down carefully. I start in the middle and I go to the edges. Start in the middle, go to the edges. This is going to be our lily pad that our frog is going to sit on. When you get to the edges, be really careful. You don't want to do it too hard because if it's thin like this, it will crack and break. Keep in mind you want it about the thickness of your finger. When you're done, you can go ahead and flip it over. Check to make sure it's about the thickness of your finger. This is good. If I need to smooth any of my areas, I will use one finger of water to smooth that out. Now I have this lumpy area that I went too hard on. So I'm gonna get my skewer and just cut little notch out to make my lily pad. Smooth those areas, because when you add clay or glaze, it will become sharp. If you wanna go ahead and add any lines or texture into your slab, you can use your skewer to do that. You don't wanna to go too deep though. Just drawing carefully on the surface. Actually flip this over. And you don't have to put that texture in. You can put any kind of texture in, even if you want to use the bottom of your skewer. All right, when you're done with that, we'll put that to the side. Now, take this ball of clay, and you kind of want to take it. I have a little bit less here. Maybe in half would be best. So make sure you got two even pieces. Put that to the side. You're going to create your sphere again, because we can create anything if we have a slab a sphere or a coil and we'll talk about coils soon once you get this into your smooth shape we are going to do a pinch pot so i hold this in my palm i'm going to give myself the thumbs up then i'm going to stick it not so it goes all the way through but pretty far down i'll keep my thumb inside my four fingers are on the outside and i'm going to pinch very gently pinch pinch while you're rotating pinch pot, not squeeze pot, pinch pot. So I'm just gently pinching, rotate, rotate, rotate. And this will start forming the mouth of my frog. When you feel like you have even walls, and that means same thickness all the way through, you're probably done pinching. If you've pinched a little bit too tight here and it's real thin, very gently flip this over and just gently tap it and it should get a little bit thicker. Go ahead and smooth your surface out with one finger of clay or one finger of water. All right, so he is probably going to sit right on there and that's going to work perfectly so I'll leave that to the side. Now I'm going to have fun and decorate my frog using this other clay. I can make spheres. I'm going to do for the eyes to the same size or not. Make my spheres. I'm going to press them down. If I wanted to add little tiny eyeballs I get smaller ones. Press, press. Now anytime I go to attach anything, I have to remember I got to scratch 
and attach both sides. I get my toothbrush a little wet, add it, give it a little, a little press, scratch. If you don't, if you don't scratch and attach, it will fall off when it dries. And think about how I want them. I like one up and one down a little bit. That makes them look a little bit silly. I can even have one eye going overlapping a little bit. Put that one eyeball up. If I wanted to give him a tongue, I could use a coil. Now my coil like a snake or a rope. If it gets lump, lumpy, you put it on the tall end and just press it down a little bit. Now this, if I leave it like this, this will probably, probably break. So you're going to have to get it secure. I think if I do this, this will be a little bit safer. I can flatten this a little bit. Go ahead and scratch. I see some cracks, so I'll just smooth those out with my finger. Now you don't have to do a tongue like that. If you want to have a tongue like this going to the side, that would be a safe way to get it to hold, or you can make it even shorter by pinching it. You could put some texture in it. You could even add a little fly on it if you want. you wanted to add teeth, you could add teeth. Just make sure you give everything a little wiggle, make sure it's secure. All right, now let's not forget about legs. So I need four. I don't have a whole lot of clay left, so I'm going to <clears throat> divide this in half and then in half again and that will give me my legs. I'm going to run coil, coil. This will be the side leg so I can bend this. this there's the knee and here's the foot. This is going to attach to the side I can go ahead and add his little toes. Make sure I'm going to scratch and attach this. Actually, I can go ahead and put him on the base. That might be the safest. Get that leg really secure. fuss with his feet a little bit more now that I know they're going to be attached here. Rotating. What's great about a sculpture, it's in the round. You have a front, a back, a side. And then I should have two more pieces to do his front feet. I can do a little sphere here. 
press it down. This isn't the only way you can do it. If you wanted to do little tiny coils sticking out, you could do that. I'm just gonna get those tucked under. Those are way too big. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Actually, let's try those little coils. Ooh, this might be a better way to do it. So I did little coils. I actually folded that one in half. Make sure you get everything scratched. All right, the possibilities are endless on him. Um, if I wanted to go ahead and add texture to the back, I could. I could do spots. Next time I see you, we'll give him a glaze.